Tell General Chaumier I have horse, foot, and artillery. Tell him what Voltaire said. Dieu n'est pas pour le gros bataillon, mais pour ce qui tire le mur. You told me you didn't speak French. I lied. My wife taught me. She taught me many things. Above all, how to say goodbye. Sharp, a hundred men, but where's your horse and artillery? Rifles, make ready. Fire. The English major reads Voltaire, madame? Yes. He's very clever. You see how he buries his wife on the hills, Ducot? He's telling us he'll be buried beside her rather than give up the position. He is bluffing. He has no more than a hundred men, General. Beg pardon, General, but he has horse, foot, and artillery. He said so. Didn't he, dear? He said so. Certainly. He lied. I saw no cavalry or artillery. He is bluffing. And so are we, Ducot. This is merely a reconnaissance force. I have infantry, but no cavalry or artillery. My orders tell me I must retire if I meet serious resistance. My orders from Paris are to press the British before the new year. I say attack now, sir. Major Ducot. I am willing to attack on your assurance the English have neither cavalry or artillery. But I want it in writing. Of course, General. I take full responsibility. And of course, I also take credit for its success.
When we advance in line, each pea is apart. And it is very hard to pick up one pea with a fork. But to eat the peas, we move them together, like so. And then, we pick them all up. And how would Major Sharp go about moving all your peas together? Cavalry. But Ducot says he has no cavalry. Maybe you have misunderstood, my dear lady. Cavalry! Mon Dieu! Mr. Gillian, rocket artillery, prepare for bombardment. Fire! Use this. Good shooting, sweet William. Well done, Mr. Gillian. I'll be damned if we don't reach the moon someday with one of your blasted rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Captain. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.